Okay, we're strolling through Bonga Walban National Park. Not exactly a big ticket item in terms of the more well known national parks of the northern part of New South Wales. That'd be more your Border Ranges National Park or Climbing Mount Warning, Nightcap National Park. And a few other ones like Lomban and uh, Mebbin National Parks. Believe it or not, there's a place called Mooball National Park. I'll let you Google that one at your leisure. This is the Paperbark Trail. Now, I'm only half an hour drive or less from towns that have thousands of inhabitants. I haven't seen another human being all afternoon walking through some of these trails. I know a number of them are used by horse riders, I believe. A couple of these paths lead to the odd lagoon. This road here is actually closed to public traffic. As far as I can tell, all the roads that are open to public traffic are suitable for two-wheel drives. But I wouldn't bring a low-slung sort of sporty car along them. Unless you have a WRX and want to do a bit of boy racing and uh, slap yourself up against a tree. I think trees like that would probably sort you out without too much difficulty. In terms of wildlife, you get a few dirty great lizards around. You can probably hear more than see any bird life. A lot of the park is uh, fairly low-lying. I did the Juliet Trail earlier on feeds onto the crow trail but uh, just too much mud across the track to make it worth my while slogging through as I said the roads that are public access are two-wheel drive or well, two-wheel drives are fine for them but they are all unsealed. In fact, the unsealed road stops way back towards a tiny little village called Bora Creek. No supplies available there. Nearest petrol, I guess, is Korakai, which is only another several kilometres along anyway. Main one would be Lismore, especially if you're looking for accommodation. Only waterways around the area, it's what they call the Northern Rivers, but not so much in the Uncle uh, Walburn National Park that I'm in now. Mentioned earlier on wildlife, got a few big lizards, and when I say big, they're pretty bloody big, well over a metre long. And uh, remember, they're more scared of you than you are of them. But when one dashes out of the undergrowth and flies up a tree, still gives you a bit of a fright as the foliage at the side of the trail seemingly bursts to life and a meter of reptilian muscle and claws come screeching up the nearest tree to try to get away from you. Earlier on I managed to spot any one of the lagoons, kangaroo of some description, and I did while walking along the crow trail almost step on the snake 
think he was as impressed with that as I was. Rapidly took a couple of steps back from him. He appreciated that gesture and took the opportunity to scarper at an impressive rate of knots, really. Very hospitable of him to uh, get out of the road so I can continue my stroll. Now it is getting on towards the later afternoon here. A lot of long shadows. If you are going to be driving out to Bunga Walburn along these dirt roads, just be aware that I have seen signs saying that uh, emus were active along the roads. They enjoy the easy access as well that roads provide. Just get some other buggers to build the road for them. I believe it's called outsourcing. Anyway, so as per elsewhere, that's not a town in uh, rural Australia. Just be aware if you're driving along in an evening or dawn or dusk when such animals are likely to be particularly active. Uh, funnily enough, I'm not an encyclopedia on the habits and uh, weights and sizes of emus, but uh, they're not exactly a small animal. And I think one coming through your windscreen to join you in the cab of your car might just take the shine off your day. Anyway, given that I know the chances of anybody googling Bunga Walburn National Park, it's practically zero, and that no one will ever watch this anyway, I'm going to sign off and continue along the paper bark trail. Back to where my trusty steed awaits. Profitable day bushwalking. Along, as you can see, quite well kept. Very comfortable terrain. You're not exactly going to need a pair of scarpa kalashes to deal with this. But at the same time provides a very great sense of being away from the public because as I said I've been out here all afternoon on different walking slash riding trails not a single human being to be seen Bunga Walburn National Park Northern Rivers New South Wales